Welcome back, folks. Continuing on with the theme of value priced and lighter weight, I bring you the Benjamin Marauder Pistol. Having been with us since 2011, some air guns are just worth circling back on. Weighing in at just 5.2 pounds with a scope and the included accessory shoulder stock, this 30-inch Marauder is the perfect jungle thump gun, and at only 18 inches long in pistol form, will stow neatly in your backpack for the perfect deer stand companion. In the days before the making of this video, I put 33 different types of pellet through the Marauder pistol. So for behind the scenes picks and information, and to keep up with me in my daily activities, feel free to join us on Facebook. The 13.43 grain Falcon Accuracy Plus is basically the same pellet as the JSBRS, and I found them to be a good choice for this pistol. The new H&N Sniper pellet was our top performer in the Benjamin Maximus out to 90 yards. Our Marauder pistol seems to like them as well, and that was the first flyer I've seen them produce. Hmm. It's too bad too. They'd been grouping at about a half inch for me up till video day, and they're probably one of the best choices for this gun. The 17 grain metal mag by Predator International is a heavier pellet, and it's particularly devastating on small game. If you've ever hit a squirrel or rabbit with one of these, you'll know what I mean. The impact has a sound signature all its own. Again, too bad about the flyer. Up until today, these pellets have been grouping at about three quarters of an inch. The 21 grain H&N Barracuda match is the heaviest pellet we're going to test today. I tried the regular Barracuda, and the Barracuda matches and all the other head sizes, but our Marauder pistol liked the 5.52 head size the best. Not bad. Years ago, I owned a Benjamin Woods Walker, which is the camo version of this pistol. Its favorite pellet was the Field Target Trophy Power in the 5.52 head size. It doesn't look like much has changed. Sorry about the chronograph, guys. Mine has a really hard time seeing copper-plated pellets, and there was probably a bug over the lens while we were shooting the Barracuda match. The 15.9 grain copper magnums by Crossman are what shipped with our Marauder pistol. Throughout testing, they grouped as you see here, with 4 out of 5 landing in a 3 quarter inch hole. The 65 cubic centimeter reservoir on the Marauder pistol is easily refillable. Its smaller size makes it a good match for a hand pump, but an SCBA or scuba tank will work just as well. A robust dust cover and quick connect foster fittings are always good to see.
You can refill to 3000 PSI, but you don't need more than 2500. Filling to 3000 and shooting down to 1300 will give you 43 usable shots in a 16 grain pellet. Shooting inside of 60 feet, you won't notice any pellet drop across the fill. Average power at the muzzle comes in just over 12 foot-pounds. For a flatter trajectory and no pellet drop, recharge to 2450 PSI and then again each 20 shots. In doing so, your average power will get compressed a bit too. For maximum shooting enjoyment inside of 60 feet, use a heavier pellet like the 21 grain Barracuda. By recharging to 3000 PSI and shooting down to 1000 PSI, you'll enjoy over 50 shots and no pellet drop. If you want to shoot the Barracuda out around 50 yards, refill to 2300 PSI and again after 20 shots. You won't experience pellet drop and you'll be rewarded with over 14 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. And if you haven't already noticed, that power comes awfully quiet. The trigger on this pistol is dual stage and very adjustable. The safety is manual and it can be decocked. Out of the box, the trigger broke at two and a half pounds, but if you like, can be set closer to a pound. Folks, for 410 bucks, this pistol's got a lot to offer. If you're thinking about getting into the lifestyle, or just looking to add to your collection, this mini Marauder brings a lot to the table. Pulling double duty as a pistol or carbine, the Marauder makes a great short range tree stand field or jungle gun. The Marauder makes a good pistol, but due to its subcompact nature makes an even better carbine. Its repeating action, light trigger, and low weight make flicking it from target to target a joy. I should know better than to try to shoot a pistol out to 60 yards but I like pushing these guns to their limits so that you guys know what they're capable of. At 30 yards, our Benjamin Marauder pistol liked the H&N Field Target Trophy power the best, so let's try that one. Sorry about the crony, folks. Copper-plated pellets remain invisible to mine. I eventually got it to be able to see them, but I had to use my optional lighting kit from Shooting Crony, and I had to complete my testing indoors. If you're interested, I put a picture of the setup on Facebook. Our pellets are lobbing right in there, but they're moving slow enough to where these four to seven mile an hour winds are blowing them around a bit. Drop, by the way, is six dots at 9x when sighted in at 30 yards, so they're falling pretty hard too. These double-headed insects you've seen all over the place are the Florida love bug, or Plesia nerctisa. They're nectar eaters and they're harmless, but they're very acidic and will quickly do a number on your car's paint job. This group's looking pretty good though. You'll notice I'm hand loading the Marauder. This is actually a really nice way to recreationally shoot this gun from a bench. Theoretically, it should help with accuracy a bit, too. <laughs> Pretty good for a 13-foot-pound 22 caliber air pistol. <whistles> Folks, if you think the Marauder pistol is for you, I've left you a special link and 20% off coupon code in the description.
As always, if you liked what you saw here today and you want to encourage us to make more videos like it, please be sure to subscribe, tell your friends about us, and give us a thumbs up in the comment section. I'm Steve Shally. Thanks for watching. Squirrel making a nest. In August. Ain't Florida weird? <laughs>